Thanks for joining in today. I'm just uh, getting a couple things ready here to go with 99. This is episode 19, which I'm pretty excited about. This is our starting our third set of nine episodes. Today we're going to be talking about steps, as a matter of fact. So, uh, yeah, settle in. <clears throat> ready? Welcome to 99, brought to you by Prolificate.com. I'm your host, Andrew Church. Prolificate is where I write, podcast, and talk about people and ideas that illuminate the world, light it up. One of those people is you. And 99 is a weekly nine-minute spiritual practice designed to challenge you just the right amount and also remind you to take care of yourself. This is a little bit like going to the gym, only better. Illuminating the world is really hard work, so we need you whole. I'm going to invite you to take a couple of breaths with me so that we can both kind of sink up and settle in. So from way down in your belly, we're going to inhale for a count of four, hold for three, and then exhale for seven. Ready? Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Inhale. Hold, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you impatient sometimes? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Did you? Are you impatient sometimes? Do you look to the future as the solution to your problems, like I sometimes do? I catch myself in this mode when I'm browsing eBay or Amazon for the next cool piece of electronic gear, or I remember that time I bought a Jeep. Oh, was that four-wheeler going to change my life? I was going to be one of those intrepid adventurers who heads off to the wilderness on a moment's notice, great hair blowing in the wind with the top down. As I drove by, people would probably notice my rugged good looks and want Jeeps themselves. I would undoubtedly start a movement. <laughs> oh boy, my, my friend, the theme for our time today is steps, as in the kind it takes to make progress. Now, actually, steps can be an ableist word. Not everybody has a body that can take steps. So let me just also say that I mean incremental progress of whatever sort. The reason I mentioned the story about the Jeep is that it was such an example of my impatience with myself. Sort of my dissatisfaction with the way things were going in my life. I've heard from other people who have their own version of a Jeep story, whether it's a hobby, a collection, a shopping habit, or food, anything that takes us out of ourselves or beyond ourselves. Hmm, out of ourselves. Now there's another layer to unpack. On this podcast, I often encourage you to move beyond yourself. To find ways to transcend what feels like the ordinary and set off in search of majesty. Now like anything, there's too much, there's not enough, and there's a middle path. And recently, we talked about living your life as a work of art. How even the most ordinary seeming life can actually be a work of art. Every minute of every day, like a brushstroke on a canvas. Other times, I'm reminded of the, that part of the human experience that can be about boredom and staleness. It can take outside intervention, like a tragedy or a traumatic event, or something else unexpected to shake us out of our doldrums. It's important that we not waste our time in this life, no? After all, I mean, there's a reason most people know what a bucket list is. If you don't know what a bucket list is, I won't tell anyone, but you should look it up. So, steps. Today's theme. What in the world is Andrew talking about? Well, let's see. He, he talked about the Jeep, which I guess was kind of like a step, but maybe in the wrong direction. 
And there's the danger of always running forward without looking around or savoring where the steps have taken me. So sort of like too many steps too quickly. And then there's the life with no steps at all. Refusing to even come out of my house or face what life has to offer me. Hmm. So what's left? Well, I suppose in literary terms, we haven't hit on the Goldilocks solution. Just right. Or as my 12-year-old daughter just pointed out, actually, that would be the baby bear solution, Dad. Goldilocks is just colonizing the bear family's experience. Hmm. So, what, what, it, what is it that's just right when it comes to steps? Hmm. What would the baby bear answer be here? Let's see. Your life is marching on every minute, every day, with your participation or without it. Are you present in it? Hmm. Think about that. For better or worse, every step in your life has brought you here to this point. If you think that you're created with some purpose to fulfill, then there must be some value in your being in this place right now, no? If you think this whole experience of life is just pure chance and random evolution, well, you're still here, right? In fact, if this is all there is, then isn't it even more important to look around and appreciate where you are at this step? Whatever you believe, none of us knows how many more steps there are. So what if we started taking notes about each one? I'm grateful you're here with me on this step. I come back, in fact, each week to meet you and continue on this pilgrimage together. You help me appreciate each step whether it's painful, sweet, or messy, or easy, here we are. Dr. King said, If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Now, Dr. King was talking about the fight for justice. And I think it applies in our everyday lives as well. Let me paraphrase another one. Let me paraphrase another quote from Henry David Thoreau, who said, The price of anything is the amount of life you pay for it. So what are you buying with your life? If you feel stuck and stagnant, Maybe it's time to take a step. If you don't know which way to go or what step to take, move toward your joy. Make one, just one small step in that direction. Even if it's the simplest thing, take a small step, look around, look for joy again, and make another step. Now that Jeep I told you about? <laughs> It turns out it wasn't the Jeep that represented joy for me. I like the feeling of being admired and loved by others. Remember the great hair blowing in the wind, people noticing, starting a movement? I've since learned that my joy has to do with community. That's you. So drop me a line sometime, especially if you want to take me out for a ride in your Jeep. Now we'll finish today's journey by taking two more breaths together. We're going to breathe in for seven from our bellies, way down deep. Ready? Inhale. Hold. Two, three. Exhale. Two, three, four. One more time. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Two, three. Exhale. Two. Now go out into the world and have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return to no person evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. And honor all beings, including you. <laughs>